everyone, it's Anne from Anne Makes. Welcome to uh, my studio. Welcome back for those of you who are already subscribed. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click on the Anne Makes in the corner there of the screen or click on the subscribe button below. And don't forget to click on the bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Da -da -da -da. So, uh, yeah, so I wanted to get this done, um, and so here we go. So the first thing I wanted to show you were these cute little owls that I picked up. I got Mr. and Mrs. This was the only Mrs. left. Well, I call her, I say Mrs. because she has, there's a flower on her hat. So uh, I never saw these last year, but I found them now, so I happy to have them because I've seen I saw other people haul these last year so and I never found them so I'm very happy I found these little cuties and I found some of the bejeweled corn and I think I've hauled like one or two of these in the past but uh, I was looking for the pumpkins and I couldn't find any bejeweled pumpkins but I got the corn, so I picked up three of those. So I can make some fall decor with that. And in addition to those for my fall decor, I picked up some of these little pumpkin clips. Uh, these ones are kind of a whitish, creamy, dirty color. <laughs> I know, I just thought they were cute. And these might work well in a wreath project that I would like to make so I got two packages of this. I also picked up a few more pumpkins. These are the glittery ones. I got this one and this one and these this one. These are super lightweight. I think they're styrofoam and they're covered with glitter. At this Dollar Tree that I went to I was happy to see that they had some rolls of this tool kind of ribbon that I've seen other people haul and so I got this lovely one with it's like copper colored maple leaves on a white background I also got the gold leaf one they're also maple leaves and yeah so a gold on a gold background with little speckled dots right here. I should just take the plastic off so I can show you better what it looks like Paper here, so get an idea of what this looks like. It's beautiful, beautiful like tool like ribbon. And so you, this is six inches wide, and you get a three yards on here. So not quite three meters, about two point nine six meters to be more precise. And this roll that I showed very quickly, and I also picked up uh, a few rolls of this brown ribbon with the gold trim. And again, let me show you what it looks like this. And there's more on here. Again, this is six inches wide, and there are five yards of this more mesh-like ribbon and it says it's decorative mesh and they do show a wreath on the label here and they do have instructions on the inside of the label for making your own wreath for under twenty dollars so that would be under twenty dollars us of course and let me see what do they say to use to make this they actually suggest the metal wreath form to make a wreath and wouldn't you know it so according to the instructions on the label for the decorative mesh they recommend using a 14 inch wreath form and I didn't know that I just happened to buy these two uh, at the same time so I guess I lucked out and um, let me see what else do they say you need uh, you need six six decorative mesh rolls oh boy so apparently you need six of these per wreath 
I don't have six of those. And a package of chenille stems. Two packages of clip-on glitter maple leaves. Two packs of clip clip-on foam pumpkins two packs of harvest ribbon so to make a wreath like that you they show here on this label that is wrapped around this mesh uh, they re recommend six rolls of this stuff per wreath plus two rolls of another ribbon but I don't think they mean this ribbon I think they mean another ribbon and lots and lots of leaves and pumpkins things like that so Okay, I may have to go back to Dollar Tree to see if I can get more of this mesh and ribbon or have to figure out how to make it without all that ribbon. Um, I got this package of 14 guest napkins. So it's very pretty. I like collecting these paper napkins to use as paper in my crafting. I use them with, uh, I stick them down with usually Mod Podge or uh, gel medium, but I also will be using them as napkins. I picked up these lovely pumpkin, pumpkin filler stamps. I got this kind of reddish one and the orange one also. And oh, I got, I got several as you can see. I think I got two of each and the brown if you can see the orange they're kind of all stuck together but I think I got two of each of those colors and uh, yeah that'll be fun for decorating I have not been able to find the long cotton stamps there's just none I've been able to find the um, cotton ball on the with the pine cone and the wheat thing but not the full so maybe it's not meant to be I also picked up the pumpkin swinging pumpkin uh, decorations I got this one that says welcome fall and I got two of the truck ones because I do have an area where I will hang these outside and uh, I, the three of the, the three of them should work. So hopefully that will work. I also picked up some of the two pack of portfolios. This one in this lovely shiny pink and pink, pink and pink and pink. And this one, it's like a a diamond pattern. And this one with the chevron, again, with a lot of pink. And it's got these little polka dots, too. So very pretty, very feminine. It would be nice to organize some, uh, some business papers and those. Uh, much nicer than just, you know, manila colored file folders. I got another one of these wall hooks because uh, someone I know is looking for this. So I got that for her. And, oh, this was new to me, and, and I think it was new at that, the Dollar Tree. They had this Lipso Yummy Sticks, and it says it's uh, sea salt and caramel flavor. I couldn't resist. I was like, ooh, that sounds so yummy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and it's the little Lipso Sticks. Not the full, full length, but, yeah, so I got that. And I was in need of some number two um, HB LEDs for my mechanical pencils. So I picked up this one and is it, yeah, there's, you get 60 in here total of these LEDs and they are the 0 0.7 millimeter. So that's what I needed for uh, some mechanical pencils that I have good deal and I had seen these these bigger pencils and I decided to get some they call them primary pencils they are number two pencils they are very wide 
very well very thick thicker than uh, regular pencils and um i thought i, I want to try working with these drawing with these and if i don't like working with them uh, i probably can reuse these in some sort of crafty diy like back to school type of project so multi-purpose I was in need of some screen cleaning wipes here in my office, so I picked up this little box and does it say you get, I think you get like 20 sheets in here? Yeah, you don't get a lot, but you get 20 of these little pre-moistened sheets to clean your devices. Finally, I saw the bookmarks, the metal little bookmarks that I've seen other people haul so I grabbed them quite cute I picked up the facial mask in the charcoal I really want to give this a try I've heard really good things about this so looking forward to trying that and finally I saw the little um, Hallmark Expressions little note cards and I picked up the one so you get how many do you get in here see retail US value is $3.89 for these six note cards with envelopes and it's again the six note cards with envelopes for $3.89 retail US and see and these little shoes and they have some of the little shoes have glitter they're so cute so I got that I saw some uh, zebra pens in assorted ink and they had different colors and when I saw pink and purple I said that is coming home with me that is going here on my desk in my my pen holder I, I'm putting all sorts of pens and pencils that are pink in this pen holder that I have on my desk whether they write pink or they write black or they write blue, as long as the outside is pink, it's going in my pen holder. <laughs> Speaking of pens that are pink or in the pink family, I picked up these two little pens and they wind up and they spin. Isn't that great when you're hot? <sighs> well, it doesn't do much. But they're little spinning pinwheel pens. You just turn the knob there. And they just spin and spin and spin and spin. And apparently you can write with these pens. So I'll give those a try. <laughs> these were at the cash register, uh, by the way, at my Dollar Tree. Oh, picked up some batteries. Needed some double A's. So got a pack of eight. They had this heavy duty, two times as strong duct tape. So I just got this to leave in my car. You never know. Sometimes you black duct tape and I have a black car. I don't want to use it on my car. <laughs> but uh, just thought it would be practical to have in uh, the trunk of my car. And I wanted to get some of these fake candle, you know, the little battery operated candle thingies for crafts and decor and home decor and such so I got these I used up a lot of this velcro the other day so I got some more of this magic tape I like getting this one in the I, I call it the hardware car repair section of, of Dollar Tree and because it has the sticky back it's not the sew on kind so this is this is the kind i was using the other day so i just peel it stick it and you're done so this it this isn't good for sewing because that will gunk up your needle but uh, it's perfect for my crafts i caved in and bought another roll of washi tape that i didn't already have so i got this one i've seen it a few times and i kept walking by I said, okay, this week I'm picking it up because it's just so colorful and I don't have it. So I got that. I picked up another stash of 
well stack of these three pack legal size note not legal legal pads the note the little notepad size I use these here in my office uh, quite frequently they're just the right size I like that they're lined I like, I like that they're a sturdy pad and it's I think it's a good deal and I noticed that you can get the regular size ones you get two of them in a pack so that's a really good deal too Oh my, so, well, in last week, the last pad that I had here in my office, uh, I gave to my son because he needed something, some paper to write on for a class that he was taking. So uh, he got the last one of my pads and my other son got my little notebook that I had hauled previously. And the one I had hauled was black. And of course he loves black notebooks with the little white pocket so i bought myself a new one this this week in red so uh yeah so hopefully i'll get to keep that one and more paper this time in decorative paper so i got the these two little blocks of 36 pieces of decorative papers they're they're not um cardstock weight they're just regular text weight but they're fun for uh, little craft projects any kind of paper crafting I got that I picked up these little self-adhesive protected protecting pad I actually need some for some chairs and uh, the rest I thought I would keep for ink blending. So instead of felt, I, I have the square felt, but I have some hand homemade little inking daubers that I've made. And uh, yeah, I could use these felt things on the ends. I did finally pick up the cell phone case for my cell phone because of it is in rows and I thought I didn't need one the last time I saw it but then I decided no I do I want it to coordinate with the cord and the earphones that I already purchased so I got the cell phone case and it fits the iPhone 7 plus and 8 plus so that's what I needed last but not least I purchased three of these little storage bins in this kind of clear color well it is clear and this is kind of a whitish top and then it closes like this kind of looks like a Lego on the top I got three of these I thought I could stack the three on a uh, in a space I had left in my cupboard here but actually only two fit so the third one will have to go somewhere else and I'm sure I'll find a spot for it so that is it for my uh, Dollar Tree haul and I look forward to coming up with some fun crafty projects to make with this and if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments below until next time, uh, stay crafty, my friends. Thank you so very much for watching. Thanks so much for supporting this channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I would appreciate uh, a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment. Take care. Stay crafty. Bye. Bye.